This is Chris from All Guns 101, and as promised, uh, how to remove and install the Super Graphics MSI GTX into my uh, semi outdated, uh, it's been seven years now, but I still play with most games, except for fucking Red Dead. Excuse the language. Uh, maybe I'll beep that. But uh, so let's get into it like sin. So this is my gaming PC. As you see, it's a, not a small system. It's a full case, well ventilated. Hopefully you still see. Uh, case here, hinges should go all the way back. There we are. So as you see, Cooler Master, eight uh, gigs, 16 gigs, sorry, of RAM. SSD, two terabytes here. There's my SSD operating system. 1300 G2 Supernova and I'm old so I like a disk drive on mine. So here's my old cards. Direct CPU with the joint bridge. Uh, to be honest these were Radeon cards. Um, AMDs. They're good. I've always had issues with them crashing randomly in certain games. Um, and I'm talking about games I'm trying to run on the newer spec. These are 270s the X model, so overclocked, and they would crash constantly. I would just lose frame rate and they would completely fail. So, see I'm doubled here. I'm gonna start with a single uh, for now. Maybe I'll buy a secondary card later on, but depending if I continue playing or not. Um, kind of Sorry about the noise, stop playing. So I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver. As most of you know, you have two powers. We'll remove one move to and I have more than enough power to power this entire system I have a i5 and I'm going back now basically when I built this seven years ago this was the top of line system you could buy or in my case build because uh, I don't like buying cards up for sorry uh, buying computers up for building them because I just find it more interesting for me and I can build exactly what I want so here on the card itself we have two thumb screws uh, Flathead screwdriver for me. I make sure everything's tight, doesn't move. So let's open these up. If I'm going to be very fortunate on a newer card, it looks like the ports are a little bit different, so hopefully they line up. If not, uh, I'll have to take everything out and remachine the case. In other words, uh, tin snips, temporary solution. And the other option would be is uh, put it all back together, <sighs> buy a new case. But uh, everything works fine. I probably have like a 2,000 hours total, if not probably less. I wouldn't be surprised because I've really stopped playing games for a very long time. Uh, the cards are usually very easy to come out. I just want to make sure that I don't break off the tab because as you see here, you have your tabs. There's one. Fat fingers are not friends with computers. And there's two. Um, I said there's two. Did I not get it? Put that one back in. We'll try this again. There we go. There's two. So. Those are the dual cards I was running. Uh, they were state of the art art video cards, but now they've uh, probably expired. Uh, I do like to run usually very fast, more performance than details, just because I want to game fast and make sure I win. So as you see, uh, here, here, and here are for graphics cards. So I could actually put three. What I've noticed over time, since I am an old man, like I mentioned is that the video cards keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, as you see here so that's why I'm running a full tower everything seems to look like it should line up in place so let's go with more power and I'm going to need to remove that nope. I'm going to keep top slot empty so I'll close that because that's my Wi-Fi card and I'm going to run with a lower slot but away from the power board power supply sorry and I'm just searching for it so I gotta remove this one here and as you see since I do have a very well ventilated case 
uh, almost no dust and I haven't cleaned this thing ever. So now the hard part is when you try to match uh, mama and papa to make a small one without destroying your chipset which is the part I always hate. So I'm always afraid I'm going to go stupid and snap something. And as we all know, if it goes snap, it don't work no more. So I have a feeling it's this one I need. This one lines up with that one. In it goes. Locked down. This one here is also a double thumb screw. And this is a basic easy process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to boot it back on uh, with this card, which it might not operate properly. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to take it all out, put it back in again for the only fact of my system right now is supposed to expect a Radeon ADM product which I'm switching for GTX, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is GeForce. So we'll see if it blows up on me. For that, you're not gonna watch. But that's basically your installation process. This is for a cross, well, EDM I think it's Crossfire, GTX, I'm not sure what it's called. So right here you see I have my spare power cables. Do I need it? Yes, I do. So I need to add my little doohickey here because I have a 6 and an 8. So we'll do the first connection here. Or is that the second connection? The hell over. There we are. So let's get the power in. Power. 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 Who put this tire up here? I would recommend uh, being professional about this. Bring a small set of pliers. Don't be a jackass like me right now with a knife. Do that or I could probably just go in my box here. I know I have it somewhere around here of all my uh, adapters for this and uh, retrofit it to have a four pin coming out the back but that's uh, requiring some wiring moving stuff which I uh, don't feel the need to do so we're gonna make it this way if it's long enough Come on. Come on. There we go. And of course, that's not long enough. So, uh, that's your basic install of a new graphics card. Uh, enjoy, review, subscribe. I'm going to get this up and running and I'll leave a little comment in the bottom if it worked. Stay tuned for more.